What's up, lovelies? Um, I am going to the mall, probably at the worst time possible, on Saturday at 2. So we will see if we can get a park spot, and then I'm going to pick up some clothes for the photo shoot tomorrow. Here is the damage, Forever 21, Victoria's Secret. I just really need to go home and eat food. I thought it would be fine. Silly me. So, yeah, I just wanted to get out of here as fast as possible. This is the dress that I am wearing tonight. The shoes that I picked out. Just got to the coaches. I'm gonna do arms today. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. It's been a classic Monday, nothing really too interesting. This is why I haven't vlogged since, well, I wanted to vlog yesterday, but then my memory card ran out, so, whoops. <laughs> but anyways, you get to see this workout. <laughs> my workout I kind of forgot most of the way through but uh, I should probably watch where I'm going because it's kind of icy today wouldn't that be a lull moment me vlogging and then just camera goes flying everywhere <laughs> so anyways I'm gonna go home and eat some food got my apple to eat right now so I'm gonna munch on that and then uh, yeah I had to bed Good morning, I am doing fast cardio this morning. So I am a little bit tired, but that's okay. Um, yeah, and I've got physio after work today. That's about it. But you guys are gonna see some of it. Maybe I'll uh, build up the courage to finally film while I'm at physio. So I tried it the past couple times and I was uh, a little bit too shy. Nervous? Scared? Embarrassed? All of the above? Mm -hmm. We'll see. Lots and lots and lots of snow this morning. We had a huge snowstorm the other day, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's enough of that. But seriously, the traffic jam on Hot 89.9, every five o'clock going home slash to the gym, basically the gym, it's my 
pre-workout pump up music. It's awesome. So thank you to Hot 899. Shout out to them. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I am going to physio. I'm going to see if I don't chicken out and I can actually videotape some stuff for you guys. Um, yeah, because I'm getting my, my lats done and my pecs done probably as well. Yep, the keys are still in the car. Eh. Why do I make these faces? Well. Okay. Yo. Just looking at this preview on the screen, it's like how how many angles can I create that are the most unattractive angles ever? <laughs> training days aren't lined up right now so today I have a rest day and I thought I had a full-on rest day just kidding I did not it was just a day of rest from my lifting <laughs> but I crushed it so that's good I'm gonna eat some dinner and yeah that's my day today but yeah that is real attractive Wow I am uh, working the slick back look right now. Yeah. <laughs> so incredibly cold right now. Crap. Ooh, it's like negative. I guess a lot of disappointment comes from setting your expectations high or comparing yourself to others. Like, I've gone through a lot of my life, or at least, you know, starting out something new too. When you see a lot of people that are, you know, a lot more successful than you are, or, um, you know, I don't know. You could start with the number of followers, you could think about you know, the number of trophies they have on their shelf, or how many years experience they have in an industry, and when you're starting out, it's really intimidating, you know? There's that question of, how am I supposed to get to the top? Like, is there a spot for me way up there? And how, you know, by what point in time do you think, you know, you have to be realistic, or or think you can actually make it. I, it's, it's a really tough call, but I guess there's one part where if you want to make it to the top, you have to believe that you are already going to get there and live your life 
in that, that way. And the other part is to not put yourself on the pedestal lower than others because you know you're never gonna be like them you're never you're gonna be your own self your own authentic self and trying to be like them or trying to reach that position when you're not you're just creating that suffering for yourself um even just tonight i when i went to do this video i grew up on both snapchat and instagram you know i i made note to people, okay, you know, comment and, and throw out some topic ideas, and I got absolutely no response. Now, that was like half an hour ago, so one, one side is, okay, I haven't given people a chance to, to respond or give the opportunity that time to give them a chance to, <laughs> to give some ideas, but then the other side is, it's really discouraging at times, right? You, you, if you expect a certain outcome and you just picture yourself getting 5,000 messages or, or X number of likes or, like, it's just, you can really set yourself up for failure in, in that sense because you have a perceived outcome, and if it's not that perceived outcome, then of course you're going to be disappointed in yourself. So I guess it's just living your life with that intent without seeing that goal as a specific outcome, because if you live your life just as is, loving what you're doing without that end goal, then whatever end result you have is going to be the right one. You're not going to be disappointed in whatever the outcome is. Um, at that point, the outcome becomes completely redundant and, and pointless because it will always be the right outcome. So it's, it's, it's a tough journey, but at the end of the day, like... Anything that you want to go for isn't going to be easy anyway, so so challenges like this really challenge your integrity because if you truly want that, then something as small as a setback, or setback, whatever you want to call, um, whatever you consider a setback, shouldn't affect you in the long run. If you're going to let that stop you, then perhaps that's not actually what you want to do because something that you... If you want your life to be one way, you should fight for it no matter what and not let little things get you down and those things are going to come about regardless because as you go for what you want, there's going to be hurdles in life and just to be able to go through them and, and pass them and continue on further solidifies that kind of future that you want and who you are as a person and who you want to be as a person. So. Disappointment is a tough thing. Um, it's, yeah, <laughs> it is tough, but it's it's part of going through the process and feeling like I am right now, unsure, unsure of what I'm going to say, unsure of what I'm going to do, a little disappointed in, in, in not getting the outcome that I wanted. That's okay. There are going to be times when you falter or times when you don't get as big a response or as big of a no outcome as you thought. So, yeah, it's, I guess the message is it's going to be okay and that shouldn't stop you from, from going for, for what you want. So, a little food for thought. <laughs>